morning, welcome to Cup of Cuoco, Friday edition. I swear with this whole quarantine thing, I actually don't know what day it is half the time. Today's mug, Harry Potter. Could that be any hotter? Come on, how good is that? I actually got this at Harry Potter World in Florida. It was one of my most favorite possessions. So, how's everybody doing? Tough times, huh? I could admit I've had some major anxieties over the last few weeks. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm trying to stay sane. I think I feel so lucky, or Carl and I feel, hi. Carl and I feel so lucky that we have our horses and stuff that we can actually go out there and enjoy that part of our life, but it's keeping us sane for sure. Um, <clears throat> but if you guys have been playing along recently, you know, I've been telling everybody about really promoting fostering during this time. Actually, there's been some really cool articles out that fosters are up right now, like in New York and California, and people are really doing it. I do hope the dogs end up either staying in those homes or finding some great homes after. Um, but it's actually been a really cool, people are, are really doing it. Cats too, not just dogs, cats. I even think I saw a few um, rabbits, which dare I say, oh, I gotta go check on mine. They're <laughs> We have a lot of dogs here right now, so those, um, yeah, the rabbits are, they need some attention today. Don't worry, they'll get it. Anyway, um, we started fostering a little um, senior chihuahua named Dump Truck. Yeah, um, he came through a purposeful rescue and Dumpy for short. At first I was like, we can't call him that, but it really stuck with him. So I'd spent a few days with him alone and then Carl came and spent a few days with us as well and with all the dogs. And um, I started looking at some of the applications because people had reached out to adopt him. And I was like, okay, you know, this one looks good. And, and then I would find myself just bawling my eyes out of the thought of him being not with me. You know, and then I had my friends and Carl be like, listen, you find a great home, we'll foster another one and then you'll get to save another one and like all the you know all the wonderful wonderful sides of being a foster right so I don't know if you guys realize but I've never been a foster um or maybe I have which means I'm like seven time foster fail so it was really hard for me to wrap my brain around giving him up and everyone kept saying you're not giving him up you're getting him a great home so I kind of accepted it and then yesterday I woke up and he was sleeping right next to me and Carl and I just started bawling again and Carl goes why don't you just accept the fact that he's yours I'm like no we're still gonna find him a good home well the good news is is um we did end up finding Dumpy a wonderful home and he's so happy and fostering ended up being such a wonderful experience for us that I could I mean who am I kidding we were a major foster fail <laughs> Say hi, Dumpy Cook. Are you Dumpy Cook? Yeah, yeah. Fostering just isn't for me. <laughs> Am I a foster fail? Do I love you so much? You guys, this little shit has completely stolen our hearts. He is the sweetest, most hilarious, coolest dog. We just, we love him. Yeah, we do. We love you. Are you on the table? Those are bad habits that I'm starting, but you're spoiled and you can do whatever you want. So I wanna thank a purposeful rescue <laughs> for probably knowing deep down in your heart that I was not giving him up. Rita Earl Blackwell, she, you should, guys should follow her on Instagram if you don't, I'm gonna tag her name. She d goes into the shelters and sees the dogs one-on-one -on -one and photographs them and posts them. She is a huge reason why a lot of these dogs are getting homes and this guy was one of them. Come get on camera, come here. A huge reason why this one was on. <laughs> Carl says he looks like a pill. I said, and not in an attitude, actually in the shape of a physical pill. I think he looks like a burrito. Uh, come over here. Do you want me to put you down off the table? Yeah. Um, anyway, those were the two that really helped me in getting this guy. And um, he found a great home and he's not going anywhere <laughs> because I love him so much. Huh, Dumpy? Um, so that's my foster fail story. I thought I'd share it with you today. 
I think fostering is a wonderful thing. I have friends that do it a lot actually, and they're able to separate themselves and find great homes for these animals. That is, by the way, that is a gift that you're able to do, to do that because it is really, really hard to get emotionally attached. So, you know, at this point I figured Carl won't even notice because we have so many dogs. I thought this one we could just like slide right in and um, he wouldn't notice. He, maybe he just thought he saw Ruby like go by really fast. Like, did I see two dogs there? So did we, we check him? Luckily Carl is as much of a sucker as I am. Um, oh, Tinkers, what are you doing down there? I hear a big bulldog under the table. Okay, let's not have you fall. That would be real foster fail. <laughs> that would not be good. That would not be good. Okay, you go here. Hi, Norman. Um, anyway, that's a little bit of happy puppy news through all this craziness. I hope everyone's staying healthy. We are staying healthy. We are staying totally quarantined other than going to see our horses. Um, and we knock on wood, you know, are okay right now. So blueberry, <laughs> come here. Blueberry guys want you to see this towel that she has. Cause that is really, wow. You're cool. Here she <laughs> and that weird licking sound you hear that's tank. Takers. Um, anyway, I hope you have a good weekend. Like I said last weekend, it's probably going to feel the same as it's felt all week. Grab a Harry Potter mug and get some coffee. Cheers to the foster fail. <laughs>